and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel my name's Hermione and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go charity shopping together but we're going with a purpose today we're going to be thrifting for and looking for items that are based around a very particular style or brand and today that brand is anthropology you know I love anthropology very, very, very much. And I just, I really love the style of the pieces they have. They're always very eclectic. They've got interesting colors and patterns. And today I wanna look for things that are kind of like dupes of the anthropology style, but they also could fit with my already purchased anthropology items. And I wanna do this as a way to show you how you can find things secondhand if you've got an idea in your mind how easy it is to go out and find those things. If you wanna see me do this with other brands or specific homeware styles, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you do wanna keep up with my thrifting adventures, you can check out my Instagram. Sometimes I put up little stories of what I found in the charity shops recently, sometimes clothing, sometimes homeware. Um, check it out. It's Hermione Chantal. Before I jump in, I've got to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor of this video, which is Shop Tagger, a brand I love to work with and share with you because it is so, so handy and they've worked with me for many of my videos. They do help me keep the lights on in here, so I want to say a massive thank you to them. If you want to find something at the best price and you want to keep an eye on it, the Shop Tagger is the best way to do it, so let me tell you a little bit more about that. Shop Tagger helps you find the items you love at the best price. I'm using it at the moment to keep an eye on a few rugs for my small bedroom. I've got time until it's ready to make over, so I'm happy to wait until the price drops. And I know Shop Tagger will notify me when that happens. Maybe during Black Friday or Cyber Monday, fingers crossed. You can use the desktop extension or the mobile app to save your favorite items and add them to the personalized wish lists that you've created so that you can easily keep track of them and plan your shopping. ShopTagger sends you push notifications when the item you want drops in price or is back in stock. You can also use ShopTagger to test current coupons at the checkout and they've just launched a new cashback feature that you can benefit from too. Check the link below to download ShopTagger on your phone or your desktop. It's totally worth it if you're looking to save some pennies. So thank you ShopTagger for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for something from Anthropology in particular, you might be able to find it at a better price with ShopTagger. Okay, so let me show you what I did to keep on track with the things I was looking for. I went on the Anthropology website and I scrolled through and I took screenshots of things that I either really liked or things that I thought I could find a dupe for in the charity shop. And I made a big list on my phone, I don't think you can see it, but I used Evernote. I made a list of the things I was looking for and then I also put some pictures in to help me with my search. Such a Virgo. So let me take you to the charity shops and show you what I was looking for. I've got three categories, homeware, glassware and ceramics and fabrics. And I found quite a lot of things I think would be pretty appropriate anthropology dupes. So we're going to jump into what I was looking for at the charity shops, but I just want to let you know that because the charity shops are operating a one in one out system at the moment, I didn't want to be filming too much if there were people waiting. So I didn't get as many clips as I would like, but hopefully you still get a good idea of some of the bits you can find in the charity shops. So let's jump into it and I'll show you what I was looking for in terms of homeware that was based on some of my favorite anthropology bits. On my list, I was keeping an eye out for wicker or cane lampshades to make into candle holders. I'd seen a few of these on the websites and I was looking for olive wood and dark wood and chopping boards and things like that. I also had my eyes peeled for raffia baskets, but I knew they would be hard to find and I didn't actually find any this time. And something else on my list was miscellaneous homeware and hand painted trinkets, those kind of things. Last but not least in this section, cap is shell. I see a lot of this on the anthropology website and I knew I could find some in the charity shop. So when I got in, some of the first things I found were these lampshades and these would be perfect to make into a candle holder for an LED candle. I didn't have much luck with the wooden items but I loved this little box that was on sale and I did find this amazing salad bowl. I left it because it was £10 but I thought it was stunning. No raffia baskets but this one was interesting and I did find a Kappa's shell light shade which I thought would be perfect for another LED candle holder. 
Here are a few things that didn't really fit my theme, but I just thought I would throw them in anyway because I thought they were kind of interesting. Next thing on my list were frames and prints. The main thing I wanted to find was antique style gold frames. I saw these all over the Anthropology website and their Instagram accounts and I knew I could fill them with fun prints. I did look for some still life prints and paintings but I didn't really find anything good and I was trying to find some more fun prints but I did have to find these at home. I'll show you those in a minute. But I managed to find loads of gold frames. These are everywhere in the charity shops. They're pretty inexpensive and together when you stack them or put them in a gallery wall, they look fantastic. So I did pick up a few of those. And then onto glassware and ceramics. This was my favorite section. On anthropology, I saw a lot of blue dinnerware with like this inky technique. And I thought I could find something like that. I was also looking for stoneware, handmade ceramics and textured pieces, those kind of things. Colorful vases and glassware was something I saw a lot of as well. So that was on my list of things to find. So this is what I was contending with in some of the charity shops. There's a lot of stuff to look through. But if you look hard enough, you can find some interesting bits. The easiest thing to look for was the blue dinnerware. It was everywhere. There were so many different sorts of patterns and techniques and loads of lovely inky blue colors. You could kit out a full kitchen with blue plates and bowls. So I found loads of that. I also find a lot of handmade stoneware and ceramics in the charity shops. I'm really gutted that I left this one behind. I think it looked very, very cute. I think it was about two pounds. I love the color, but it's so easy to find stuff like this. And this is just very anthropology. I mean, how else can I describe it? But there's stuff like this everywhere. And as for the colored glassware, I picked up these lovely glasses. I didn't get everything. I thought I'd just stick with one thing, but there's quite a lot of it around if you're looking for it. And last but not least, I did have a few items on my list of fabric and clothing. I really wanted to try and find a print that looked a bit like these cushions, some kind of jungle print with bright colors, or something with a bit of texture, macrame, tassels, that kind of thing, very anthropology. I'll be honest, I didn't have much luck. I'm hoping maybe next time I could find something. I did find these really cool giant tassels, but I couldn't think of anything to do with them. Had a little look in the clothing section, didn't find anything here like this dress. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I didn't find much really in the fabrics this time. I love this skirt and I'll be honest, I brought this home because I thought it looked very much like those jungle print cushions, but it was quite small in terms of a cushion cover and I didn't really want to cut it up. The detail is so lovely, so I'm keeping this for the time being, but I did bring it home. <laughs> So now that we've been charity shopping and we've found quite a few dupes, I brought a few of those things home and I thought I would share with you A, what I got and B, how I'm gonna style them in my house. I'm gonna create a little anthropology inspired display space. So I'm gonna mix a few pieces that I already have with the bits that I found and um, let's get into the haul, shall we? Here's my little haul of some of the bits that I picked up in the charity shops that I thought were kind of anthropology inspired. I obviously didn't get everything, I didn't want to bring too much home, but this is what I got. I don't know if I got footage of this, but I popped into the Oxfam bookstore and I found a few art books. These are really hard to find, nice hardback art books. Not only am I excited to read these, but they're great for styling. If you take the covers off, the spines look so much nicer. picked up one about the Met and one about Monet. So I'm gonna try and style with these. I also found it really easy to find gold frames. They were everywhere and they're only a couple of pounds each. The little one was 2 dollars and the larger one was 3 dollars And of course, I'm gonna change what's inside them to match a little bit better with the theme. I was really happy to find some colorful glassware. These three were a pound on sale. It's a shame they're not a set of four, but I think they're really lovely jewel toned glasses and I can't wait to put them on my bar cart. And then this, this is actually a little lampshade, but I'm gonna turn it upside down and put a candle in here. This is like a Capiz shell style piece. And I was really pleased to find this one. How much was it? And it was only two pounds. 
And I have to give an honourable mention to all of these bits that I've thrifted over the past that I think fit with the theme really, really well. I'm going to try and incorporate some of them in the styling. This was originally from Poundland. I saw them all over the place and I picked one up in a charity shop for 50p. And there's loads of these on the Anthropology website just in different colours. So I thought that was kind of cool. Got some pink candlesticks in case we want to add a pop of colour. This ceramic vase is very, very Anthropology-esque. I love it. I love the detail and the pattern on it and it's got a little speckle in the white areas so I can't wait to use that on my shelf. Another interesting ceramic piece here that I picked up ages ago in the charity shop. Keep your eyes peeled because you can find loads of things like this wherever you go. You just have to keep an open mind and uh, see what you can find. And this was the start of my last thrift haul. You might remember it. It was four pounds and I was in love with it and you never guess what. I found almost the exact same type of glassware on the Anthropology website. So I'm very, very happy that I found this ahead of the game. This one I've had for a while and I just think it will go with the rest of the items. So we'll save that for styling as well. So using the little bits I've bought and some of my other pieces, I'm gonna style this little alcove up in an anthropology kind of way and we'll see what it looks like at the end. The first thing I wanted to do was clean up these gold frames. I was really pleased to have found quite a few of these and I just gave them a good once over with some window lean and cleaned them all up ready for some prints. Like I said, I couldn't find any prints or paintings in the charity shops that were kind of in the theme that I was looking for. I will keep looking, but for the meantime, I'm using a few cutouts and freebies that came with Flow Magazine. You know I love Flow Magazine, I love taking out all of the illustrations from inside and throwing them in some frames. So that's what I did. I also did this one wooden frame for a little bit of a, a different look as well. So we've got a couple of gold ones, a wooden one, you know, a few bits and pieces. And I thought these prints looked a lot like the ones that were on the Anthropology website. I've just picked apart this old frame and inside the back the framers have put an old piece of um, newspaper from the day it was framed, which is in 1984 when houses were £27,000. I'm not crying. It's also a very interesting article about equality which is absolutely laden with misogyny and next to it is shape up the summer leotards. So um, 1984, interesting year to be alive. <laughs> I do want a 27,000 pound house though. Oh wait, that's a mansion. The rent is 4,500 a year for a mansion. Oh no, my goodness. <laughs> I think I'll put it back in just for fun. And this is how the prints turned out in the gold frames. I love the gold and the contrast of the more modern illustrations. I put them on the top shelf to give it a bit of height and because I don't really need to access them very often. I will say, I apologise for the back of my head. There was a piece of hair that I forgot to straighten. It's driving me mad in this footage. I apologise very, very much. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm just filling the shelves and I'm moving things around trying to get the right leg out adding those books that I showed you earlier and some of my other knickknacks and bits and pieces. It did take me a little while to get this looking exactly how I wanted it and I did use the Anthropology Home Instagram account as inspiration to see what they were doing with their styling. They tend to use a lot of different textures and colours and it's very much more maximalist than minimalist so that's what I try to go for here which fits my style very well. So this is how it turned out in the end and I think we've got the perfect balance with the right amount of things going on here. I love those gold frames and they perfectly balance with all of the items that I already had that I've managed to throw in from around my house. And because I was dying to style up those blue glasses that I got for a pound, I just did a little bit of a reshuffle on my bar cart. This area is kind of dark, so I think the color sort of added a little something else. I also added that Capiz lampshade, which I've put a candle in, but I would recommend using an LED candle in something like this. But yeah, I just wanted to brighten up the space a little bit and give it a tidy up. So I've added back most of the bits that were already there and the new additions. 
So that is everything for today's video. I really enjoyed that. I think it was kind of fun to go out with a purpose, looking for something in particular. Let me know if you'd like to see me do this with any other brand or any other style of home decor, like mid-century modern or something like that. I would love to do a challenge like that. So let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you found anything really good in the charity shops recently, because I will be insanely jealous. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i hope that you have great luck on your next thrifting adventure yeah <laughs> happy thrifting see you next time bye